Hey, what's up my YouTube family? Y'all asked for this uh, cooking recipe, my enchiladas as well as my guacamole. So you know what? We're gonna do this thing because I am in the kitchen right now and I am cooking what? Enchiladas and guacamole. I'm doing tacos too, but tacos is simple. I know y'all know how to do that. But I am doing my enchiladas and guac. So I'm gonna take y'all with me. Okay. okay, first you want your ground beef. You wanna put it on medium. That's what I got this on. I got two pans actually cooking because I'm doing tacos and uh, enchiladas. You wanna make sure you dice your onion up and put it inside of the meat while it's cooking. Okay guys, when it's halfway done, the meat, you wanna go ahead and add your taco seasoning. That's what I'm about to do. And let that cook inside the uh, taco meat. Okay guys, so the meat is done. I am about to strain it. Make sure you got your strainer ready. Make sure you got your strainer ready, guys. Okay guys, so I strained the meat and now it is time for me to start uh, showing y'all what I do next. I have to warm up the enchilada sauce. You guys see it? Never mind my nails, y'all. I gotta go get them done. But uh, this is the enchilada sauce that I use and I am gonna warm it up uh, in this pot. Yes. Yeah. So, that is what we're gonna do. As you guys see, meat right here. Enchiladas right here. Sauce right here. Okay. Okay, guys. This is the pan that I'm using uh, once I roll them up. This is the pan. Okay, it has a top to it too. And it's sterile and, uh, so it can go in the oven. Make extra sauce because you want to be able to pour it over the enchiladas once you roll them. Okay. So you get these small cans like, like I got today. I usually have a big can, but if you, if you get the small ones like I got, get two of them. Okay. Here as well. I am adding to my enchilada sauce garlic salt and parsley flakes. Okay, guys, so it's on medium, so I'm just gonna stir it and let it get uh, to where it brings up boil, like you know, got little bubbles in it. That lets me know that it's hot enough for me to go ahead and start doing the shells. Guys, it's going to get messy, so make sure that you guys are ready with your paper towels too, okay? I do it a little bit neat now because I've been doing it for a while, but uh, if you're new to this, just know it's going to be messy. That's all I'm going to Okay, guys, so here is the shells that I use. These are the medium ones, not the real big ones, just medium, okay? So these are the shells I use. I got my grandbaby in here with me. Say hello. <laughs> she likes to help me cook as well as do videos. So y'all just gotta deal with it. I'll be right back. Okay guys, y'all see it's bubbling up. It is time. Okay guys, so we are gonna go ahead and start this thing off. And got a shell, dip it in there, y'all see that? Flip it, make sure that your sauce is nice and hot before you do this. And Kind of try to shake it off a little bit. Bring it over to your pan. Next one, dap it in there. Put it on the other side. Both sides need sauce. Get a little bit off of there. Put it in your pan. Next one. In your pan? Put it in your pan, my mom. Put it in your pan. Yep. Any potato? Okay, guys. So you can't do nothing without your cheese. So I got a big bag of cheese right here. And this is what I'm going to start putting in the enchiladas and the meat and rolling them up. So I got them ready. Okay, we want to go ahead and we're going to put it on one end of the shell. Um, guys, this is optional. Y'all can put the cheese in the inside or just cover the top. It's up to you. I like to do both. Not too much cheese in the inside because you're going to also have it on the top, okay? So we're gonna just roll, y'all see that? Close more. You see? Okay, roll them up. And that one is in the corner. Y'all see that? 
Okay, the next one. I do three at a time, guys. Three at a time, depending on what size uh, pan you got. Okay. Okay, you want to take it from the side that you got the last uh, shell. And get the rolling. Get to rolling. Yep. And push it back. Got my third one ready, guys. Okay, get my meat on there. Okay. Cheese. Not a whole lot on the inside unless you want it like that. Get to rolling. Okay. There it is. So, this is the rest of my sauce. Like I was telling y'all, make sure y'all pull that on there. Whatever sauce y'all got left in y'all uh, pan, pour it on there. Make sure y'all got y'all oven on 425. These are going in the oven for 15 minutes, guys. 15 minutes, okay? So, that's that with the sauce. Just spread it around a little bit. Okay. Okay. So then, guys, we're going to go ahead and pour the cheese all over the enchiladas. Y'all like that? Ooh, look at that, y'all. Y'all, I'm telling y'all, y'all going to be in heaven. It is the bomb. Y'all ask for it? It is. Y'all know who going to get y'all what y'all want over here on this channel. Okay? Okay, guys. Now, the last finishing touches to this is cilantro. Don't know if y'all like cilantro, but I love it. So, I have to add cilantro. You can either wait till it come out. I do a little bit of both. I put a little bit of both on there when it come out and when it go in there. Bam. So, guys, that's it for that recipe, the enchilada recipe, and it's about to go in the oven. So, I'll come back and let y'all know how my family think about it. I'll let somebody taste it on camera. Catch Okay, my YouTube family, here is the test. Mariah got her enchiladas. She has sour cream um, salsa, and she also has her lime on the side. You squeeze it on there, and we're going to see what she rate this on a scale of 1 to 10. <laughs> so what you writing it? What you giving it? A 10. Okay, it's a 10 out of 10, y'all. Mm -hmm. There you have it. Have a wonderful, wonderful afternoon. Like, comment, and subscribe. Youngest son, Mitchell, better known as Bubbles. Now, he's my son that don't play with the food, <laughs> y'all. So his <laughs> opinion is super important because he, he don't play about food. So y'all look at his plate. He got four tacos, guac, and his chips, and then he got his enchilada. Let's see what he think about it. That what? <laughs> well, we got one to ten on a scale of one to ten. Oh, that's honest. Y'all heard that? That, that, that? that can't even be on the scale. You heard that? Mitchell say it's not on the scale, guys. It's that fire. Okay? So there it is. And my other son already told y'all it was off the charts. Now it's the second son telling y'all it's off the charts. So it's off the charts. So let's see what that uh, enchilada doing. Y'all, we just waiting. He got to cut it all nice and neat and everything. Make sure it ain't too hot. Okay, so what was scale 1 to 10? I'm breaking the scale too. <laughs> Y'all heard it. There it is. Please like, comment, and subscribe.